Fox 4, we are listening to you. You told us you want to see stories about people here in Southwest Florida who have made themselves into a success. Maybe it was the recession or some personal setback. These people were able to change their futures. So on this Southwest Florida Reinvented, a lifetime of reinvention. You may know his face. I've worked my whole life to get to this point. On YouTube and Instagram, Sean Casey is a maestro of social media marketing. But he'll tell you the real symphony begins when he has a pair of clippers in his hands. I love cutting hair. I love somebody in my chair, building that relationship with them. What he's built is a barbershop franchise. He created Twin Cuts nine years ago, and since then, he's grown the business to five locations and nearly 50 employees. I'm just a go-getter. I just have a lot of determination. I believe in myself. And he's reinvented himself no fewer than four different times. <laughs> His story starts in New York City in the late 70s. His mom was a model, and sadly, she passed her demons, her drug abuse, to her newborn son. I was born addicted to heroin, and uh, it was a big challenge for me to even be born. Uh, they called me a miracle baby at the time. She died of an overdose just nine months after he was born. Sean's grandparents raised him, but by the time he was a teenager, he didn't have a lot of direction. In high school, uh, he had a, my girlfriend at the time, she got pregnant and my son was born. Reality kicked in, I had to mature very fast. He reinvented himself as the only thing he really wanted to be, a barber. He moved to Fort Myers in 2006 and started at the bottom. He didn't have any clients, but he was bold enough to draw up a five-year plan. He wanted his own place, a hybrid between a neighborhood barber shop and a chain, and he decided to do it right in the middle of the recession. Did you find it hard to get people to believe in you? Yeah, for sure. It was very difficult at that time. It was scary when I opened up when you have overhead and you're like, man, we need to get some business in the store. He went out and got what he wanted. And what turned out to be a brilliant move, he sought out FGCU students right around the time the entire sports world discovered Dunk City. His unique designs put him on the map. Soon, Major League Baseball players here for spring training were coming into his shop. Demand for the twin cut style was remarkable. In just a few years, Sean opened up new shops and the kid who didn't like school was now being asked to teach hair design at schools all over the world. He started with nothing and built something significant. It's just determination. That's really what it was. It was me getting up and saying, hey, how, how can I make a brighter future for tomorrow. And here's where most of these stories end. But Sean still has one more reinvention in him. Last year I was diagnosed with stage three non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I used the same mentality as becoming a business owner as I did with my life. I wasn't gonna sit around and let some something defeat me. I still got up and I worked. My mentality was, I'm gonna beat this. And help other people at the same time. Sean helped create FadeCancer.org to sell t-shirts to pay for his medical expenses and raise money for St. Jude's Cancer Research Hospital. His cancer is in remission now, but there are other complications, so he'll be away from the shop for a while, but he's already planning his next comeback. There's nothing you can do about the past. It's what can you do today? So do I dwell and complain about everything that I have no control over, or do I wake up with the opportunity that everybody else has in life to say, hey, this is what I have the ability to do, this is how I can grow, and this is how I can push towards tomorrow. If you have a success story, if you have reinvented yourself and would like to tell that story to us, let me know. You can send me a message on my Facebook page. Just look for Chris Shaw, Fox 4. 639.